Hi friends, here is the first problem of arithmetic progression. Uh, in this question, we have to check whether the following situations are forming an arithmetic progression or not exactly. Uh, let me read the question. In which of the following situations does the list of the numbers involved make an arithmetic progression and why? We have to give the reason also, right? Uh, so, let me read the first question. Uh, okay, uh, let me change the first color to solve this fine. Okay, now see. the taxi fare after each kilometer when the fare is rupees this is rupees actually currency right this rupees is also now written as like this you may have seen here and it is just like uh, the dollar in US right in America people write dollar in India people write this currency or this also sometimes this uh, but now these people are writing like this okay so rupees 15 for the first uh, kilometer and rupees 8 for the each additional kilometer okay so uh, let me do first suppose this is your home right and you're going to the school this is your school right and you're taking a taxi to come from your home to school and for the first kilometer you are paying 15 rupees right for the first kilometer only you are paying 15 rupees and for the second kilometer you are paying 8 rupees and again for the third you are paying 8 rupees for the fourth only you are paying 8 for the fifth only again 8th for the sixth only you are paying 8th and so on right so up to first kilometer you have paid 15 rupees right so up to first kilometer you have paid 15 rupees right up to second kilometer right you have paid how much total 15 and plus 8 rupees this plus 8 rupees right so how much you have paid 15 plus 8 it is now rupees 23 so up to here you have paid 23 rupees up to here right and for the f uh, yeah th for the third kilometer how much you have paid let me s check uh, let me find out up to third kilometer right so up to second kilometer you have already paid uh, rupees 23 right it is up to second kilometer right up to second kilometer you have paid 23 rupees now f extra 8 rupees you are paying for the third kilometer right so again 8 now it is all together you have paid how much now 9 8 plus 2, 31 right so up to here you have paid up to fourth kilometer you have paid 31 rupees right and again for the f uh, third fourth kilometer let me check how much you have paid right so up to third kilometer you have already paid 31 so 31 rupees and for the fourth kilometer for the fourth kilometer you have paid 8 rupees so again 8 rupees is being added so now it is 31 plus 8 that is 39 means up to fourth kilometer you have paid 39 rupees right and for the fifth kilometer let me check again right how much you have paid up to fourth kilometer you have already paid 39 rupees and for the only fifth kilometer you have paid 8 rupees again right so now you have paid 47 right so like this so on you're paying on paying on paying on right so what what did you got over here mm, in the first situation let me write the uh, the numbers uh, the list right first you got uh, you paid 15 rupees right then you paid 23 then you paid 31 then you paid 39 then you paid 47 right for the fifth kilometer you paid 47 and so on like this you are paying so now friends uh, we have already learned that to f uh, to be a arithmetic progression or to be a s arithmetic sequence, the common difference between two terms anywhere, right? Anywhere, any between any two terms, the common difference must be constant throughout the sequence or throughout the series, throughout the progression. So let me find out the common difference between this 15 and 23. So common difference. Let me give this is the first difference. Okay. So common difference is. Uh, a2 minus a1 so I can say this is a1 this is a2 this is a3 right third term this is fourth term this is fifth term and so on right so here common difference between uh, first term and the second term is 23 minus 15 that is 8 again let me find the common difference between these two terms third term and the second term a3 minus a2 that is again 31 minus 23 right how much it is 31 minus 23 yeah again 8 since here common difference is constant right d1 is equals to d2 means the common difference is constant here throughout here if you check here also here also the difference you will get the same right since the common difference is same right this is forming an arithmetic progression right so now in this condition what can I say that this situation is forming an arithmetic 
uh, progression right so this is an arithmetic progression this is an AP right so let me check for the second one the amount of the air present in the cylinder when a vacuum pump pumps removes one fourth of the air remaining in the cylinder at a time right so at a time it is removing one fourth of the remaining uh, remaining uh, amount of the air right suppose at initially right initially V represents the total total air right total air so at first time there was V air right V amount of air so in second time we left with when the pumps uh, right in the first time when uh, the vacuum pumps it removes one fourth of the V whatever uh, the rem uh, whatever the air there was right right so V minus one fourth so it will be V minus one fourth it means V uh, and it will be four V I'm just doing I'm just taking the LCM if there is nothing then there is one right so LCM of one and four is four so now one when divides four will get four and times V and again when 4 divides 4 you will get 1 times V right so 4 V minus 1 V that is 3 V by 4 so now when second time vacuum pumps it again removes the one fourth of the whatever uh, the air is remaining there so the air remain there is the 3 V by 4 and when pumps second time it removes one fourth of the remaining air that is 3 V by 4 so again 3 V upon 4 minus one fourth uh, means uh, four fourths are that directly I'm writing it is 16 right so four fourths are 16 and this 3v it is now 3v right so again the LCM is 16 so four fourths are right four fourths are 16 so four it will multiply it will be 12v minus 3v so what we got 9v upon 16 I can write like this also 3v by 4 uh, sorry 3 by 4 V and here I can write like this 3 by 4 whole square V right again fourth time right when fourth time what we got when third time removes again when third time vacuum pumps it again removes the whatever we have one fourth of that right so we have now 9 V upon 16 right in third term and again it will remove the one fourth of the whatever we have remained that is 9 V upon 16 one fourth of nine v upon sixteen, so it will be nine v upon sixteen minus one fourth of this, so it will be nine v again upon four into sixteen. That is sixteen, right? Sorry, sixty four. It's sixty four. Okay, sorry, it is sixty four. So now, again, I'm taking the LCM. That it will be sixty four, sixteen fours are right. Sorry, sixteen fours are yeah. So four and then nine, sixteen fours are nine. That will be thirty six v minus then this 64 on the 64 that is why only it will be 9v here yeah. so 36 minus 9v that is 27 upon 64 oh, what is happening here okay 27 upon 64 it's not writing properly let me write here yeah you're yeah, writing okay so 36 it is 27 upon 64 oh 27 upon 64 V okay it's 20 64 it is it's not writing properly I'm sorry 64 it is right 64 V so what we got here in four time we got uh, 27 upon 64 V right so <coughs> I can also write like this 3 by 4 whole cube times V so let me arrange this all and so on like this will be uh, removing uh, means the vacuum pump will be removing on removing on removing on, okay so first time we have V uh, and in second time we got 3 by 4 V and third time we got 3 by 4 square V and fourth time we got 3 by 4 Q V right so it's not writing what happened I'm sorry huh okay so now see here uh, th see the common difference between this these terms it is square right uh, let me do with different color this one right see there is one nothing uh, there is just two right and this is three so every time the power is increasing right one two three four means here the difference one that is three by four V minus V it will be mm, one then again four right so three V minus four V that is negative uh, 1 right uh, we'll be getting here negative V upon 4 oh I'm sorry 
negative v upon 4, right? So we'll be getting negative, one, uh, negative v upon 4. But here, we'll not be getting this much. When you will subtract this 2, what you will get? That uh, means uh, when you will make the difference of this, uh, 3v upon 4, right? 3v upon 4 is squared. That is 3 squared, that is 9. 4 squared, that is 16v minus 3 by 4v. 3 by 4v. So you will get here 16 and then 9v minus 3v. Uh, sorry, 4 threes are, so it will be 12v, right? 4 threes are, so 12v. 9v minus 12v, it will be minus 3v upon 4. See ya, d1 is this one and d2 is this one. Since d1 is, uh, d1 is not equals to d2, means the common difference, since the common difference 1 and the second common difference, both are not equal to each other, right? Since the common difference between these terms are not equals to each other, we can say now that the second term sorry yeah the second the second question is not forming an ap it's not an arithmetic progression right so like this uh, we'll be solving this problems right uh, it's going to be longer and i'm using youtube you know i cannot make a video longer than 15 minutes so i have to quit it now and try to uh, do uh, solve these two problems right by pausing the uh, your video you can see this question and try to solve this if you feel any problem then please uh, make a comment i will try to make another video okay bye bye